Argue Dark Flash will be releasing two MATX case locally, the D21 and the D22. We will be checking out the D21 first which comes in two color variant, black and white. It also includes three stock RGB dual ring LED fans to help set some ambient glow into your PC build setup. Now when it comes to its design language right here, it has a close resemblance of an NZXT H500 when it comes to its overall look as well as side inflow intake right here. The core differences is the larger tempered glass side panel as well as the front panel right here which is an actual three-dimensional geometrical shape so whenever a certain light hits it at a certain angle you can see a soft grey shadow tone that exaggerate those geometrical design adding into that premium wow factor and uniqueness. Though the case aestheticness can be improved if Argyo make whatever is the black colour accents of the tempered glass, the frame as well as the dust mat to be white colour, a full white PC case would be amazing and a lot of people would appreciate it. Now when it comes to its overall look right here, when it comes to the top, it has a large ex fan exhaust area which we'll talk about the fan support in a little bit and it includes a magnetic dust filter. The uniqueness about this case right here is you don't see the four thumb screws that locks down the temper glass into the frame because this is an open temper glass door swing design where you hold the pull tab right here and open the side panel easily. It's just hold down by two strong magnets which I tested it by holding the case upside down and shaking it. It does stay in place and this side panel right here can swing open up to 290 degrees angle and it's 3mm thick right here and can be removed easily so you can do easy maintenance on the case right here. For IO, it has the power button, the restart button, one USB 3.0, two USB 2.0, headphone jack and microphone jack. Now looking at the back right here, the side panel is actually removed sideways just like this. And you can see the large cutout area here where you can change the cooler mount in the future. The cable management right here is what I say decent, it can be better but again I will not fault Argyo Dark Flash because this is a compact case and it has a thin profile. So the depth of the cable management right here is 1.8 cm so it made me no choice to go with the, the L shaped method of cable management where it's two source of cables going straight down with a bulge right here that I can hide it just in front of the power supply. Now. The great thing about this case is also its strength compared to its competitors is when it comes to cable management there's a lot of room for it because it has a removable hard drive caddy right here that can hold up to two additional mechanical hard drive or two SSD or a combination of both. So I don't need to add like one terabyte of mechanical hard drive because right here has a Samsung QVO one terabyte SSD right here so SSD is the future. So Looking at the bottom support, the plastic lace with foam bottom increase the case height by 1.6 cm. Can be removed by a standard Phillips screwdriver and be used as a table top or living room art piece without the legs attached. The dust filter holds on by latch, I wish it was magnetic in design. Now looking at the insides of the case right here, it supports the M80X board neatly and beautifully. It can go support GPU lengths up to 350mm length and you can see the two SSD is mounted directly onto the frame of the PC case right here. But the uniqueness and the selling point of this PC case right here is the support for AIO liquid cooling. Hear me out. Now looking at the motherboard right here, above the motherboard there's a clearance of 5.5 cm for the radiator and fan. This is a big Thing for me and a big thing for everyone because looking at the market right now there are a lot of cheaply priced case or similar price case at this form factor that sacrifice radiator space and this is bad news because this means the mother the fans may invade the motherboard area or the RAM area and you may sacrifice motherboard choice to go lower end to support the radiator and if you sacrifice this board that means you cannot pick a better board that has higher overclocking ability like the Steel Legends right here. What I meant by it is if you just look above the motherboard in this close-up right here, the heat sink is not touching the fan at all. Whereas if you go with other cases, the fan may sit on the heat sink or it disrupt the heat sink. That means you may go with a lower end board. So with this such clearance, it will not interrupt the motherboard area or the RAM slot area. A good thinking by Agio right here. And looking at the setup right here, if you are somewhat like my 
preferred style where you want to do the water loop to be on the left side you can see the water loop is just straight on directly into the pump there is no curviness that may block the flow of the AIO so good thinking right there now when it comes to the fan support of this case right here it's modular and you can go in different different styles if you want to for example on the back right here it can support either a 120 millimeter fan or a 120 AIO on the top right here it can support two 120 or 140 millimeter fans or a 240 radiator setup right here whereas the front panel right here can support either two or three 120 millimeter fans what i mean by it is you can remove this frame that holds the fan and you can put a third fan on the bottom to cool down your hard drive again i removed the hard drive so i can just go with a simple three to two positive airflow here is the three reasons why you should buy this case first the modular approach you can remove or add the mechanical hard drive caddy or you can remove the frame to unlock the third fan in front right here next is the design language right here having a swing arm design right here is amazing because you can upgrade your pc easily you can troubleshoot your pc easily or if you want to cool down your pc in an air conditioned room faster you can just open the side panel or in a hot afternoon you want to cool it down easily that's one way to do it but the third and last approach is the support for aio in the two areas where there's a clearance as well as the loop direction it's amazing so if you're interested in this pc case right here links in video description where you can purchase them including the updated pricing and comment below what do you think about this case right here especially its modular approach and the aio approach let me know your feedback let me know what to review next remember to like and subscribe and share this video on social media to get all the boosts that we need so we can review all those fancy stuff that you see right here so see you guys in the next pc case review you guys should see this it's plastic satisfaction yeah actually there's some static electricity in my face right now <laughs>